I'm often on the lookout for tools that can help me with editing real estate styles of video, and I recently downloaded the FCPX Auto Tracker Outline plugin from Pixel Film Studios, and here's what I thought. Hi, I'm Grant, and if you shoot a lot of real estate styles of video like I do, you're often asked or you're often looking for ways to highlight a property, particularly in situations, for example, where you are using a drone and you're shooting a high wide area of a property for interest and you want to try and outline or draw the viewer's eye to the property or the section for sale. A company called Pixel Film Studios makes a plugin which can help you with this, and I bought this plugin. This was, wasn't given to me, and it is called FCPX Auto Tracker Outline. And here's a quick montage of what it can do. So essentially it's a motion tracking tool and if you look a bit closer it's actually a mask tracking tool where it basically automates the tracking and keyframing for you. So in the marketing copy on the website it says it's a planar motion tracking tool and I had to look this up to see what that actually means. Apparently it was invented in the year 2000 at the University of Surrey and this software tracks an object using planes rather than points. This improves accuracy and prevents issues when tracking points have become obscured. And that's about it as far as my limited understanding of how it actually works goes. The best use of this tool to me is when you have the lovely big high wide shots from your drone and you need some way to concentrate your viewer's interest, for example, into the property being sold or perhaps it's a slice of land that's being sold. Drone footage also has the added benefit of being stabilized and is often quite slow moving, so therefore it makes it easier for the software to track it. Once you buy and download the software from the website and install it in your computer editing system, I found it pretty easy to use and I'll switch over now to my screen recording software and show you an example of using it. Okay, I am now in Final Cut Pro X and I have laid down some drone footage here. Now this is, this is a classic example here, I've got a high wide shot and what is for sale here is actually this sort of mowing strip of paddock. So I want to I want to put an outline around that as I'm flying the drone in to show or highlight the exact parcel of land for sale. So to find FCPX Auto Tracker, you go up into your Titles tab, and then if you scroll down here, you will see it in there. And now this is the only slightly confusing thing: you have to match. So to match it, you have to match your aspect ratio to your footage. So you, the right the right basically title mat that you're going to put over top of it and essentially I'm just about always shooting in 16 by 9 so 16 divided by 9 equals 1.7778 so that's that one there so let's just drag that down to about there so and bring it up and then maybe fade it out about there so let's trim that to length click on the click on the title mat I think I'm saying that I think I'm calling that the right right word for it. Let's go to the start of the clip. Now you'll see up here in your inspector you've got some controls here and even if I just hover over the picture now you'll see my cursor turns into a pen tool and we're just going to use that pen tool to outline our property. Okay so I've got the property shape outline now and I might make a few adjustments so you can drag all the points down just to make it a little bit more accurate. Let's lift that one up a little bit. Yeah, these could probably come out a little. Now the other option you get here, and generally I just often just use these linear points, and if you look up in here, the shape type can be Bezier or linear, so I just leave it on Bezier. And to enable that, for example, let's say you want to round some of these corners, you ho hover over one of your keyframes and then shift click, and it enables the, the Bezier handle. So now I can start using the the busier to give a more rounded shape if that's what you're after for a little bit more accuracy so for example this corner here shift click might drag those handles out a bit okay so now we have we are happy with our track shape that we want to track around the property 
Now if we go over here to the inspector again and we scroll down, so there's two options here is we can give it a fill for example which is which is great and we can pick a colour if we want, it defaults to black so we wanted a blue colour and then you can change the opacity of that you can change the opacity of that once it's rendered. I find sometimes I find the controls a little bit flaky. For example, I can't change the opacity now, but once I render it, I can. But I am going to undo that because I don't want to add a fill. I want to add an outline. So let's just undo that. The next option down here you'll see is the outline. This is probably the one that I would use the most. And we are going to give it an outline width of, say, 2. And now you'll see it's come up with the outline, which will track with the tracking data and let's make it a red track. We're happy with that. So now what we do is we, because we can either track forward or track backwards now, but I want to start, I've pretty much made my outline at the start of the clip, so now I hit track forward. Let it work its magic in the background there. Righto, now we can play this and see how well that track. Look at that magic. And that's it, that is pretty much, I'm pretty happy with that, it seems to sit pretty well. That red's probably a touch bright for my, for me, so let's perhaps go into the opacity and just crank it back say to 60. Now I'd also like to add a fade, I'd like that to fade up and fade down, so I just go to my transitions tool and put a cross dissolve on the front and back. So it'll basically fade up. And then fade down. Now let's render that. And that's it. So let's have a look at the clip. That's it. Simple as that. I, I like this tool. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. I have had a few problems with it. Sometimes it, and it depends on the quality of your footage. And I guess the science that is way beyond my understanding is how well it can track data for example and I'll show you another example here of ones that I've done let's go to my demo that, that I used in the montage at the start of this video I'll just get rid of that now this that's the one we just did this one here this one obviously I've applied two tracks here I've applied the, tr the blue outline first to track the boundary and then I then I applied an I compounded that clip and then I tracked the boundary around the house and added a fill color for example. Now this one here there's a little bit of magic going on in here and that one here if we play this one down so all I did here to make it look like the track goes around behind the house is that I've added a mask data so essentially if you look on my timeline here Actually, I'll shift that out of the road so we can see what's going on. So this was just a straight, I just basically outlined the property and did a straight track. You'll see it there. And so what I did is then I then duplicated that exact same layer and I put a mask around the top of the house here, which you can see up in here, which just essentially hides the bottom layer or the track. So it kind of looks like the track has gone behind the house. So if I play that one down, I know it's kind of like it just adds a little bit of a, a special effect to it and I like it quite a lot for this one here this was a big motel complex and say for example we were just selling this property or well, this property was for sale in this complex this was a great way to to outline what was for sale and that's it so to sum it all up, I actually like this tool. I think it's actually quite a valuable addition to your Final Cut Pro X editing software if you use it and if you shoot real estate styles of video. And it's, I, I think it's especially useful if you use a lot of drone style, styles of footage. Price-wise, it retails for $59.95 on their website, but it is often on sale, and I got mine for $39.95. And if you sign up to their mail list, they, they often come out with sales virtually every week, so you shouldn't have to pay the full retail for that piece of software. So that's it from me. I hope you're all keeping well out there and I will see you in the next video.